is everybody doing tonight? This is Cade's Cows, and my name is... Well, of course my name's Cade. <laughs> this is Cade's Cows, my name's Cade, and welcome back to the channel. So, tonight, I just gave the heifers their grain. If you guys didn't know, this one right here is a Holstein heifer. She's been in the other pen for a while. And then this is all the calves and the moms. And lately, a little update. We started bedding these guys with sawdust and these guys with sand. The sawdust we got from a local saw sawmill and we went and picked up a truckload. I would have filmed it, but we were in a pretty big rush to get it home. And a truckload filled one, two, well, one half, and then whatever's on the ground here. And that I think is gonna work a lot better than straw because the straw is, it just doesn't work as well. And the sand in here and the sawdust in here is more like a litter box rather than a like straw soaks it up, but then the straw becomes wet to where the sand and the sawdust do more of a job of taking it, drying it out and hardening it so you can bed with it longer. And it, I don't know, it just works better for us on cement. And I think it works better for a lot of people. But the point of tonight's video is gonna be on why Holsteins. I've had a couple people comment wanting to know why Holsteins. So I figured I'd go over that and talk about why we choose Holsteins over other breeds. There's a lot of other breeds like Hereford, Angus, Red Angus, Belted Galloway, and I'm sure there's lots I'm missing. They're hungry. But I wanted to talk a little bit about why we do what we do. And there's probably three main reasons. The first reason is, is the purpose of buying and the price. So to start out with these guys is a lot um, cheaper than a beef breed. A beef breed may get a little more of a hanging weight, but these guys are a lot cheaper to start because they are a dairy breed and not as many people like them and raise them for beef. As compared to the beef breed, a lot of people raise them for beef because they get a little bigger steaks, a little bit uh, better hanging weight. And so we get them because they're just a little bit cheaper to start out. And starting out, you can't have a super expensive animal, at least for us, that's not justifiable yet. Uh, so we do these guys as our steers. They come from a local uh, dairy farm. And what's really cool about these calves is the local dairy farm is actually a non-GMO dairy. So all of our calves start out being non-GMO. And so we can feed them non-GMO and their moms were fed non-GMO. So that's pretty cool to have that. And the second reason for these guys is they're marbling. Their marbling, we, from the research we have done, their marbling is the closest you could get to a Wagyu. And that's what we are looking for in our meat. When you feed them right and give them the right groceries, they will marble. I mean, it's crazy. And I'll put a picture in here. So that's why we do, that's the second reason. First reason is they're easier to find and a little more affordable to start out. Second reason is the marbling is just outstanding on our non-GMO feed. And so we wanna keep going with that and that's what our clients are used to. So we don't wanna take that away.
And the third reason is, is we would like to try, I don't know if this is much of a reason, but we'd like to try a beef breed. The only issue is, is, well, not more of a, not an issue, but we just haven't done it yet. We'd like to try an Angus or a Red Angus or a Hereford on our feed just to see what it turns out to be. And maybe it'll be better, but we don't want to switch all the way over to our uh, beef and then have our clients prefer this. So we're going to start out with these guys for a while longer. And someday we'll get an Angus in here or something and see how he finishes out if we have the opportunity. So yeah, that is kind of why Holstein's. Just wanted to kind of go over that in the video here so you guys can know now and why we don't do beef would we like to try it someday yeah we would but this is what works now so you got to keep doing what works and why fix something that's not broken is kind of a saying that would go along with this it's working pretty good for us and our clients like it so we kind of just will keep rolling with it so yeah how you doing They like their real milk. They do pretty good on that. I'm happy with it. Right here, I'll show you real quick. This is my sister's new draft horse. I think it's a per Pertron or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a horse guy. I just know she has horses and he's a pretty cool dude. He can make uh, the horse vet cuss, so that's one of his many talents. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Please share it and comment. I do read every single comment and try to reply to most of them or all of that I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll get more videos out for you soon and have an awesome night, day, depending on where you live. It's a different time. Here it's dark out and it's nighttime. At where you live, it could be light out. So, yeah, have an awesome night, and I hope you enjoyed the video.